Hello. We're in Jeremiah chapter 31. And God has been speaking words of comfort and life and hope to us. I want us to look in verse number 9. It says, They will come with weeping. They will pray as I bring them back. I will lead them besides streams of water on a level path where they will not stumble because I am Israel's father and Ephraim is my firstborn son. Now even if people are coming with weeping because they've had to endure so many difficult things, sometimes there's a weeping because of a sense of loss and remembering things that are gone from the past. But sometimes there's a weeping of being overwhelmed by the goodness and the kindness and the faithfulness of God as he brings about his restoration. When he does what is impossible for man, God is in the business of doing the impossible. He says, I will bring you back. And we're going to come. There's going to be rejoicing and there might also be some weeping. But not only that, he says, I'm going to lead them beside streams of water. This is reminiscent of Psalm 23. I'm going to bring them back on a level path where they will not stumble. God is causing his people to be mature and no longer stumble. I just love this. God is causing us to grow up in him that we will not stumble over the small stones of offense. Things that used to trip us up in the past. He's saying, I'm going to level all these things out. You're going to be stronger, mature. You're going to make it. And the reason you're going to make it is I am your father. And as a good father, I take good care of my kids. We know because we are king's kids, we're going to get the best. Oh, so good. Let's pray together. Lord, as we close out this week, we thank you for your words of life and hope and encouragement. You're going to bring us back. No matter how we've had to navigate through difficult circumstances, sometimes we've been reduced to tears, but you're going to bring us back. We're going to pray. We're going to praise. We're going to worship. We're going to rejoice. Not only that, but you're leading us in places of refreshing, streams of living waters. You're causing level paths for our feet. Thank you that there's a highway of holiness that we can turn to you and return to you. Thank you, Lord, for these good things that we receive because you are our Father and you're a good Father. We worship you. Amen. I just know you are going to have the most amazing day and a glorious weekend. Blessings on you.